is called Penny Submarine as a result of recent technological advances in naval design and engineering with a performance quality price ratio that outstrips any other craft in its class. It's called Penny, a submarine for a new era, capable of facing any challenge. The most reasonable investment for security and defense with a guarantee backed by the experience and untiring research of two world leaders in the field of naval construction. Keupayaan tempur dan pertahanan kapal selam kelas Kopin antara yang terbaik di rantau ini. Dan kelengkapan persenjataan canggih yang dimiliki KD Tunku Abdul Rahman bakal memudahkan tugas mengawal dan mempertahankan kedaulatan perairan negara. KD Tunku Abdul Rahman yang dikategorikan sebagai kelas Perdana Menteri mampu berfungsi untuk melaksanakan pelbagai tugas dan misi strategik. Antaranya pengumpulan data risikan, serangan torpedo, memasang dan mengaktifkan periuk api serta operasi khas membabitkan penyusupan pasukan khas laut atau PASCAL. Dia ini. So kita nak tanya, kenapa satu negara yang tidak berperang dengan negara-negara lain, kita stopkan begitu banyak eksosis misal. Modern tapi itu cerita more than Britain. Ha? Ha. So, tapi itu isu lain. Tapi sekarang ini, dalam kes ini, kita telah lihat harganya telah uh, apa ni diganjakkan begitu besar sekali sehingga uh, kita dapati 20% lebih besar daripada uh, harga uh, pasaran tu It's a case of corruption, uh, it's a case of mismanagement of funds, and it is a case of misuse 
of Malaysian and French people's taxpayer, uh, taxpayers' money. So it is really about our money that's being used to service um, a, uh, a system of procurement which is very closed and which is very secret. <coughs> Why did Swaram take the case to the French courts? And the reason is because the avenues here seem to be all blocked because there are important persons, important names that could be involved and uh, we don't even see MACC taking the initiative to, to uh, in investigate uh, such serious uh, misappropriation of funds. One of the other motivations is of course that uh, we would be able to access uh, information uh, such as the contracts of the sale between DCNS and the Malaysian government. Uh, here we are bound by the Official Secrets Act and so um, uh, it's very, very important that Malaysians know and Malaysians have the right uh, to be informed of what kind mm. of uh, defense procurement, what kind of policies are in place, how our taxpayers' money are being used and what it is, what it is being used for.